Hello, everybody, I am Molly West, and this is Dark Souls 2 once again, and I'm gonna go try to fight the Burnt Ivory King again. Hoping I don't gotta kill his army. It's been a while since I actually went through this area. I only went through it like once before, back when the DLC first came out. I see I got all four of the knights. That does not bode well. Gonna have to seal the doors and fight his army again, aren't I? Wee! Ow, my legs. Yep, gotta fight his army again. Why couldn't it just take me straight to the goddamn boss fight? Seriously, gotta deal with this bullshit. Come on. And arg. Meh. Maybe I should focus on Pyromancer for the beginning. There we That would be a good idea. Alright. You can't hit me when I get right up on you and circle around like that. Oh yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm still on the life gems. Forgot to switch my item back. That is something I probably should have done before I started the recording, but I didn't do because I'm a stupid. Ow. If I could dodge, that would be great. He was just sitting there blocking hit after hit and ignoring my command. I hate it when that happens. And by that, I mean I love it. Sarcastically, I mind you. I don't like being ignored, Quarmy. You do what I tell you to do. You are a puppet on my strings, and a puppet that refuses to do what it is supposed to do will die. That's how it works. I order you to do something because I'm trying to keep you alive. Your death is entirely your fault, Quarmy. Obey me. Oh, come on! Mind your own damn business, Pyromancer! I was in the middle of something with Sword Guy, not you! Don't interfere! No, I'm going to die and run out of Estus before the battle even begins! Isn't that great? No. How easy this would be if all of the knights all at once just ran off and sealed the doorways right away. That would make this so much easier, but nope, you gotta wait a good long time before they go and do that. Hey. Stupid pyromancer. No, don't you dare. You go stab somebody else. And ignore my commands some more. I like being ignored. Go ahead and just stand there and get stabbed instead of dodging like I'm telling you to do. Quarmy. If that is your real name, which it is because I made it your real name. Oh yeah. That is your name. Whether you like it or not, Quarmy. Arg. Now, please go fuck off. Now, drink it and be quick about it. And all right. You go fuck yourself. You stop throwing fire. It's bad for the environment. All right, and move. All right, there's another one down. Please stop throwing shit at me. It's very annoying. You, you there, stop throwing shit. Stop it. No, fuck off. Come on, idiot, move. I'll take that. I got the armor that these guys was wearing. And apparently they killed my friend. Yay. Burnt armor. Totally worth it. It does look pretty cool, but it don't protect as good as the other stuff did. It may be on account of me having upgraded the piss out of my Drang Lake mail, but that's just my guess. Alright, let's focus on the Pyromancer first. 
that will probably make things easier, assuming I don't get stabbed from behind like that. All right. Okay, go ahead and stand there. That works out great. It lets them fucking murder you instead of doing what you're supposed to do. Now, please leave me alone, you sons of bitches. You're not leaving me alone. Hey, dumbasses, you're supposed to keep me alive. Oh, there you are. Where were you when I needed you? There was also like 50,000 souls in my blood down there. I'm gonna go grab that real quick and then quickly teleport out and then use them to level up because that would certainly be beneficial to my benefits. The ability to level up is very good. Hopefully I can get it and get out before they start stabbing me out of nowhere. Grab souls and yes. Goodbye! Ah hey guys, sorry about abandoning you earlier, but I'm a little bit stronger now, so maybe we'll actually have a chance. But most likely not! We're going to die again! Horribly! We're gonna get our asses handed all to us. It ain't gonna be a beautiful sight. But we got guys that need to be killed, so get over here and fucking help me. That's right, keep that pyromancer off my back while I beat up Sword Guy, Mr. McSordo. Oh, goddammit. No! back off. I want to use my old Radiant Life Gems and save my Estus for the battle. I need to save that buh. Gotta use it for the actual fight. There's assistance right on time. Now they know how it feels to be abandoned by your comrades when, need, when you need them most. Because I abandoned them. I have shown them the error of their ways. And so they have set forth to redeem themselves. Ow, oh, come on! Now, if only there were one of each soldier at once, that would make this so more, much more fair. And I am... Alright, I'm getting health back. Getting a good amount of health back. Alright. Do you mind? Okay. Okay. All right, Pyromancer, die. Please move. Oh, come on. Don't go interrupting my stab. I was just about to finish him off. And, okay, go ahead and stop for nothing. Okay, die. That's good. Oh, now you go close the door. Would have been helpful earlier, you know, when I still had a beating heart. While I was still alive! I've got an idea. It involves hitting them with this anvil on a stick. It might not work, but it'll be fun to try, now won't it? At least I'm strong enough to two-hand this bitch. This thing is heavy and it needs a lot of strength in order to use. Here, have a hammer. hammer. It's got an anvil. It is an anvil. The power of the anvil will see you through. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dodging like a motherfucker because I got to because I can't really block. I can, but it don't do no good. This ain't a shield. It's a hammer. And I'm still alive somehow. Back off, please. Uh, slam that life gem. There we go. I do believe I'm going to regret this decision. Oh. Very much health loss indeed. Alright. Health is back up and ready for action. Now if Pyromancer would mind his own fucking business and stop interrupting my attacks, that would be great. Alright. With this thing, my freaking attacks ain't bouncing off of their shields. It knocked through their shield like some sort of knock thing. Yeah, that's the word. Knock thing. It'll knock them down, 
It'll take them out. And I am about to be murdered. Yeah, come on. Break your face. Break my bones with your fire that somehow has the power to knock me on my ass. And I got hammered in the butt. All right, axe guy. You are first. The first to take damage in this arduous battle. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yes, go after the pyromancer. Keep him distracted. He must remain distracted or dead. That would be better. All right, come on now. Unleash your missing attack. There we are. Damage for the enemies. We are on the right track. And if by that you mean getting engulfed in flames, then yes. Because flames are good. Not really though, they have been my death many times. Oh yeah. Oh no. Why did that one stab do so much damage? If, okay, what even hit me just now? Alright, I'm gonna quickly grab my souls and then stay close to my allies. If I am close to my allies and not stabbed from the side like that, then I'll be able to survive even longer than I did before. Alright. On the upside, this does give me some damn good grinding. I get sold out of these guys every time one of them dies. A good heap and helping of them too. And so, there's a good chance that there will be more souls in my blood with each passing attempt. Alright. Now then. There we go. Ow. Fire. If you could move, that would be great. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Guys, you want to help me? You're just staring there, standing there staring and not doing anything. There we go. That guy right there, Mr. Friendy McGee, has helped me. He has jumped in to save the day. I have a good feeling about this run. I might actually get to see the Burnt Ivory King again. Staying near my friends is the winning strategy for this day. All right. Getting that stamina up. All right, all right. Not getting fucked up, even though I'm totally getting fucked Fucked up by these guys. And dodge the fire. Still got hit by the fire. Get back to my friends. I don't want to be alone. Alright, there we go. Friendly, friendly. Now then. Come on. Alright. Oh, god damn it. No. Back off, motherfuckers. Alright. Could you do me a favor and back off for a second so I can heal? There. That would be good. Okay, go ahead and take everything away from me. Everything that I've ever worked for. I like being robbed of everything on one fell swoop. All right. Now you will die. Ha-ha. One less pyromancer to deal with. Now, sir, let your guard down and perish at my hand. There we go. There we go. I'm getting to the boss fight. And with still with one drink of bow left. Did that actually heal him? I don't think it did. Uh oh. Hey, it did. Why didn't it work the first time? Maybe it did and I just wasn't paying attention. Heal that guy up real good. Heal him a little more. Still got the time and the magic to do it with. Won't get a chance to heal him, heal myself with magic during this fight, though. Come, Burnt Ivory King! Face me in battle! You know you want to! Aye, aye, aye. Please don't put your halberd in my face, Mr. Friendo Knight. Where? Alright. A loose soul. Is that good? Probably. Is it gonna give me souls? Most likely. Sweet flips, bro. Alright. Now, dodge him. Dodge him some more. Ow, he stabbed me. I didn't want to be stabbed. Okay. Go ahead and cheat. 
I like it when my enemies cheat. At least I actually got to fight him in this episode. And right when I hit the 20 minute mark, which means it's time to stop recording. Can't have these episodes get too long. And I, I would love to record for longer, but it's just my schedule and whatnot and everything getting in my way. Does not yield souls, but perhaps. What do you mean it does not yield souls? But perhaps what exactly? Does it boost my damage against the Ivory King like the giant souls do for Vendrick? Speaking of which, I still have to go fight Hollow Vendrick. But I'll do that some other time. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, but I, and, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!